In their wet state, acrylic gels are milky white, but they dry clear, and that's why you'll find dry samples on display near the products at the store. Because they're clear, we mix a little color into the gel to give you an idea of how they'd look mixed with any of our heavy body or fluid acrylics. All acrylic gels are basically the same as acrylic paint, although they lack the pigment that gives the paint its color. All gels are formulated to be compatible with acrylic paints and will provide the same durability and archival qualities as acrylic paints. All gels will adhere to primed canvas or any other surface acrylic paint adheres to. In fact, one very popular application is using gels for an adhesive in collage and mixed media works. Our high solid gel has the thickest consistency out of the jar. I'd compare it to a creamy peanut butter. This particular polymer also has a slightly slicker feel than other gels and it shrinks a bit less as it dries. If you want to build extreme texture, this might be the right tool for you. It comes in gloss and matte. Our extra heavy gel is just a step below the high solid gel. It's still very thick and will also work quite well for building texture. It will feel a little softer and not quite as slippery as a high solid gel. From there, you can take logical steps down in consistency. Heavy gel is a little softer than extra heavy gel. Our regular gel is softer still and has the same viscosity or consistency as our heavy body paint. Soft gel is looser than the regular gel and will not hold peaks or brush strokes as well. It's about the consistency of blended yogurt. Extra heavy, heavy, regular, and soft gels all come in gloss, semi-gloss, and matte surfaces. It's important to point out that the differences between these gels is really not about the amount of water in them. They're all going to dry to the same translucency and at the same drying rate. The remaining two gels in our line are both pourable, but not as liquid as our fluid mediums. Self-leveling gel is just as the name suggests. It's a pourable, resinous, stringy gel that levels to a smooth surface and doesn't show peaks or brush strokes. Clear tar gel is a little different from self-leveling gel in that it's even more stringy and tar-like. Tar gel creates very defined lines when drizzled and dripped over a surface. Self-leveling gel and clear tar gel come in gloss only. There are no matte options. Well, we've covered a lot in a very short time and I hope I've given you some ideas about how you might use these gels in your work.